What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Lennox Lewis. Big up, England! Big up! Lennox Lewis once again predicts Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk, and this is what he had to say. First off, he said, for the record, I'm looking forward to welcoming Fury or Usyk to the Undisputed Club. Glad they have decided to chase history. With the fist and the pow emoji. Should be a great fight. A good biggin beats a good little'un. Advantage theory. Those are the words of Lennox Lewis and let me counterpunch. <laughs> you know, Lennox Lewis at this point in the last few months, or should I say the last six months, has pretty much went back and forth like a pinball machine. Or a pinball, rather. Right? And, you know, he changed his mind at once. Then he changed it again. Now he's changing it again. So I think it's only fair to, you know, keep up with the changes of the great lion, Lennox Lewis. And uh, the question is, what made him change his name or change his idea of him now? Now, everyone's entitled to change their mind. You know what I mean? Why? Because the fight ain't happened yet. You know what I'm saying? It ain't happened. But it does show that he has some doubts for him to change in the first place. From one to the other, you have some doubts. You're doubtful, you know, but he's, you know, he's saying it like this quote, you know, hey, uh, a good biggin beats a good little one, right? So, you know, and he says he, but he did make it known. My advantage, Fury. So he's saying the bigger guy has the advantage just from being big. Um, you know, you guys know how I feel about that. And tomorrow, what I'm going to do for you guys is I am going to make my prediction finally known on who I'm going to pick, okay? So, um, Lennox Lewis, and my, really my fight breakdown, because you guys pretty much know my prediction. But I think, you know, um, Lennox Lewis, you know, as time goes far, goes on, Lennox Lewis, you know, he knows he was the big guy. He knows he was the tyrant. He knows he was in the position that Tyson Fury's in right now, fighting a smaller guy for Undisputed, okay? So, yeah, I, I would do that if I was him, if I was Lennox Lewis, you know what I mean? And they're all Brits. So, you know, that British love is very deep-rooted and strong, lads, right? So, I do see why, you know what I mean? But, you know, you have to ask yourself, you know, if it's back and forth, he's still kind of over the fence. And don't be surprised if, you know, if, you know, what happens, it happens, you know, and Tyson doesn't end up winning. You know, I'm just really seeing the reactions of everyone involved, right? Because I think it's going to be one hell of a fight, you know, and let's hope, though, regardless of who wins or who loses, let's hope that this fight is a lot better in competition, in competitiveness than Spence versus Crawford, another undisputed fight. You know, and the same for uh, Better Biev and Bibble. Let's hope these fights, when they get made, okay? Let's hope these fights live up to them. You know what I mean? Let's hope we have this type of back and forth action based on the best or based on the champions, based on the reasons why they're there in their, their, their situation. Because a lot of times they don't. So let's just hope it is a worthy match between the two and it's equally yoked or whatever. Not too equal because we want to know a winner. <laughs> but let's see if, if it is equally yoked. You guys tell me what you think about the lion, Lennox Lewis, changing once again his prediction and leans towards Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury, to defeat Alexander Usyk. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.